holler and holler back. Holler back. Joey Hollenbeck. Good. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, this is uh, Full Body Cast presents uh, Holland with Holland Beck. Have haven't had Joey in the in the uh, in the pod room for a bit, but we got him right now. Got him sat down. First off, apologies to Seth Loop. I always say, hey, I'm gonna get him on, and you guys we could all talk, and then that never happens. But again, getting Joey in here is 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 a is a prize. It's fun for me. I enjoy it. Uh, and anyway, we have got Joey Hollenbeck on the mic. What's up, peeps? What up, guys? Thanks so much for listening. So we're here. We're going to jump right in. I, I, I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm always excited. I'm always excited. You're ready to roll. Ready to roll. Uh, Joey told me to put my mouthpiece in. He goes, hey, put your mouthpiece in today. We're going hard. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So. Go. Oh, you got notes? Yeah. we got, I got notes. As I said, I'm, I'm all I'm all set up for, for some conversation. I was excited. I like it. Man. I was excited. We get to catch up. We don't get to catch up that often. Um, heard I heard that uh, you had a listener say hi to you the other day. Meet, oh, meet you in, for the first time. Ran, it, ran into uh, uh, Russell. Is his name? Is it, oh Russell Brandon? I think so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Shout yeah, out to yeah. Russell. Yeah. 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 He's a he's a new uh, he's a new. Um, what's that called? Patreon. So thank you, Russell, for Cross being a part there. with him. He's like kind of eyeballing him. Like this guy. This kind of. I was like, this guy doesn't want this smoke. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Ready to I didn't fight even. You. I didn't even realize. And then he's like, "Hey, are you Joey Holman?" Like, yeah. He's like, "Oh, you're full body cast. I listen to you." I'm like, "Sweet man, thanks for listening." That's awesome. Sorry, you got to deal with Trav on the other end. <laughs> <laughs> my, my full apologies uh, for my for my friend Travis. Um, well, that's cool. That's so. So you got got getting recognized. You know, it's. I'm, I'm sure that's never happened to you before. So did, did it go to your head for a moment? Big like, time. Yeah. 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 Big time. Where, where I just immediately start floating away. Just your head just a little bit. Get... Yeah. No, he was a cool guy. Good, good. Well, shout out Russell. Um, and uh, yeah, shout out to you being a Patreon as well. Thank you, Russell. Thank you for going saying hi. You know, you don't have to do that. I do owe you the money for going and doing that. I just need to get Joey back in the in the lab. So, so thank you for doing that. Checks on the way. Um, you know, we're we're in bracket season. Did you do a bracket? I did. I did do a bracket. Are you still looking okay? You know what? Let me pull that bad boy up real quick. <laughs> last time I checked. Actually, yeah, I think I am actually because I checked the last couple of days and I was in 2.1 millionth place of overall. No, I'm not, bro. I'm like, wait till you see this. <laughs> <coughs> I'm ranked twelfth right now. Twelfth out of I mean twelfth in in the world. I think so. Or is like hundred twelve thousandth? No, look at how many people are in this thing. Oh, okay. So, oh, I thought you're overall. So you're twelve. So you're nice. I was fourth, but who who's who do you got going all the way? Zags. And then uh, who's your final four? Or did you just do the thing where you randomly press buttons to to pick your teams? No, bro. Uh, I don't remember who the final four is. My my Kentucky, I know it's a spoiler alert for I got Kansas. I got I got Gonzaga, um, Kentucky, Arizona, Kansas. I had Kentucky too. Yes. Arizona can oh oh so you chose well I guess Kentucky was was the second mm-hmm. and Arizona, Kansas, and Gonzaga are all number one seeds. So you're like Baylor's out, forget Baylor, and then you moved on. So that's good. Is there a little money? A little money involved? Yeah, it's it's a free one. It's I didn't. It's uh, I get them sent to me, and so I just decided to jump in and do it. It's like a gift gift cards or like a Yeti or something like that. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, uh, How many Yetis? Do you, I'm sure. Like, I feel like you're a guy who just has like 45 Yetis. No, bro. I wasn't. I'm not. I was like drank the Kool Aid when they first came out a little bit, mm-hmm. and then I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'll go back to the Coleman. And and then it's just all Coleman all the time right now. No. It's tw- I just, Twelve Coleman's. I don't use a cooler that much. Do you collect anything? Like, are, like, are you? I mean, do you collect? Is, is there anything off the wall? Are you a shoe guy? Are you a hat guy? Do you like? Uh, I'm like a clothes guy. I like collect. I got a lot of clothes. Clothes. Is shoes, there a certain hats. thing that you're as you when you walk into like let's say you're on a your gift shop, you're out somewhere, and you're like, I want to pick up something from from this from this spot. I used to, well, the reason why I became such a clothes guy is because when I was. Growing up, I was big, and so like to <laughs> so find something, I was like, I became a connoisseur of like trying to find things that I could look good in, and 
Here, we, here and, I am. and here you are looking good in absolutely everything. Thanks, Trev. Um, you might be wondering why I'm taking uh, taking notes right now. Yeah, yeah, I can. Know, the listeners can probably understand <laughs> and hear that you're not paying. attention I am paying whatsoever. attention. Okay, all right. So, the, but there's nothing else. You don't collect salt shakers. You don't. You don't collect. Uh, when you were a kid, did you collect bottle caps? Like, was there anything that you like? Ba- oh, I mean, baseball cards, basketball, football cards, all cards, stuff yeah. like that. But not, not anymore. So when you roll in, do you even go garage sailing? Do you ever, if you roll in, what are you looking for? Anything fun, or is it just like you just? Oh, keep... vinyl, vinyl, vinyl. We there talked you go. About this, right? I, mean, I think we did. That's right. So what do you what do you have right now, like that you know off the top of your head that you have on vinyl? Uh, lots, bro. Like what? Lots. I've never heard of those Beastie Boys, All Sublime. Right. Um, do you play them or do you just collect yeah, them? Yeah. So you got your you got a record player that you're just like you know what let's listen to some some Beastie Boys yeah, right now. I play them. Nice. Yeah. Vinyl sounds better to me, anyways. I like that that initial scratch. You know. Do you ever scratch it for fun? <laughs> no. I can see you doing that. No? <laughs> oh my gosh! Watch. Look at this old school Beatles album. <laughs> hey, hey, look! Hey, look! It's still the rapper. Let's open it up. <laughs> I'm gonna scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go put on my jean coats. <laughs> my hat on sideways. It's about to get real up in here. Ooh, that's so funny how this. How, I, these are my notes, but these are. It's it's further in the conversation, but you keep bringing stuff up. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, as a fashion guru that you are, go on. What one thing do you wish would come back into style? Because you loved rocking it. I'm gonna say, is it puka shell necklace or or like mm. what? Those are coming back. Yeah. Those are back, actually. Those are already back. Yeah. But but what else? What else are you? Uh, is there is that it? Or is there is there something you're like, man? I kind of liked rocking those Ti- these are Reebok time- pumps. These are timeless. I don't know if I could. I mean, these are these are, this is a timeless shoe. But I rock them quite a bit. Uh, the uh, white and black shell toe Adidas. Mm-hmm. I rock those quite a bit. Mm-hmm. And then the all white polo hat. Oh yeah, and then you and then Oakley's. Oakley's on the uh No Oakley's. No Oakley's at that Jokeleys. No. Fake Oakley's. I didn't wear a lot of sunglasses until later on in my life. Really? Yeah. You keep the wrinkles away. The, the crow's feet. You know, no. you're always you're, yeah. No. Yeah. Um no, I just didn't I just didn't I I don't know. I wasn't into the shades really until I got older. Yeah. You look good in shades. Hey, thanks, man. So do you. Yeah, thank you. So I I don't know if you saw this, but I was rocking rocking some shades. The dad, how do I? My uncle, mm-hmm. you know, he he wanted. He's like, hey, let's start a pod. So we recorded two, put it out there, and like, <clears throat> so we recorded a promo video. Oh, so you're trying to get big time right now? He, you're, yeah. you're riding his coattails to try to get big time. Right uh, hey, hey, just like on uh, what's that? P- Parks and Rec. Uh, what's the guy's name? He goes every behind every successful man is me trying to ride their coattails. <laughs> <laughs> that is you to a T. <laughs> hey, uncle. Hey, Uncle, I know you got 2 million followers. <laughs> He's got 3.91 mil. Okay, I know you got 3.91 million followers. <laughs> you want to come over and have a podcast? <coughs> I'm making prime rib tonight. I specifically, I specifically. Hey, I, I, I see you still got that cop. That's yeah, good. I do. It's always there. I, speci- I specifically didn't bug him about it. And I think he, he told me, he actually thanked me for it. He's like, hey, everyone was hitting me up. And then he came on. He's like, "I'll do your podcast now if you want. If you're interested, and I, yeah, come on down." He's like, two grand." So he sits. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he sits down, and he sees the equipment. He's like, "Wow, I think he thought I was just like recording like with a shoe scre- shoestring, you know, can can to can, just into my." <laughs> you just hold on a second. Just pull out the recorder out of your pocket, with a mini tape. All right, let me rewind where I left off here. I got my VHS camcorder out like I'm doing growing up, growing older or whatever. <laughs> you just got the little the little teeny microphone clipped on his clipped on his or, clipped or, on his little chest. Or I'm holding I'm holding this like old old microphone just b- b- between him and me, just handing it back and forth like it's the 1970s uh some sports stuff. Anyway, he so we're we're on it, we're doing it. But anyway, he walked in and he goes, dude, it smells like Axe body spray in here. But I know the the listeners heard this a few few. But that's that candle. That candle has saved me. Did you say, listen, bro, that's teak wood and mahogany. <laughs> I said that. I said. I said it's a, it's a. That's what you're smelling. Did you I, give him one of these? I also have many leather bound books. <laughs> no, no. I said. You, I said. Or this could smell like freaking dude sweat and farts. Do you want that instead? Because this this. This little thing saving your life right now. Did you clean the place up at all before you got here? I did actually. 
I know I know it doesn't look like it, but it actually I I really did. Did you make him a Barton Martini? <laughs> Shout out Mike Martinez for a full box of Barton vodka. Full case. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I did not. But anyway, rock rocking the shades and rocking 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 the hat and you know, just just looking good. I just felt I felt like I was in my element right then and there. Nice. So yeah, no. So go check that out, everybody that's listening right now. Three point nine one. Three point nine one mil. Um we gotta get we gotta always, always and always get into bat or get into football with you okay a lot of stuff going on a lot of trades a lot of releases a lot of a lot of stuff you just want to talk about the elephant in the room we might as well burn that wheaties box over there with Russell's <sighs> face on. what do you think about that i mean it kind of came out that it was like the seahawks are trading seahawks are trading and then now it's coming he out gone. that he was gone almost was gone last year yeah well, let's talk about something completely off subject uh how about watson's contract that's insane what is it, two hundred thirty million guaranteed? Yeah, and they traded like the freaking farm for him too. And he just had twenty one sexual 20, assault call yeah, against the, him a week ago. Yeah, and I mean they didn't have they didn't press any charges, but that doesn't mean it's not out there or they or they yeah. didn't bring it. It's like it's still kind of pending. And the NFL, even if it's like something like like li, like little, they'll they'll typically suspend someone. So someone with with that much, I'm like, is he gonna be suspended for a full year just for that? Two hundred thirty million guaranteed. That's insane. Guaranteed. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Well, I, I don't I don't have that. I don't either. I love to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you want? Do you are you want Minshew? Are you on the Minshew train? Absolutely. Let's get Minshew in here. Cap? Kaepernick? No. Cap's not going anywhere. He's, He's been out of the league for like six years. He was he was he was he was uh, out there today. Where? In Seattle? Yeah. Try it out. Oh, Playing geez. around. Oh boy. But I, I would love Minshew. I would too. Minshew would be so Those nice. Those two are like complete polar opposites. Minshew and Wilson or Minshew and Kaepernick? Minshew and Cap. Yeah. Both together in the in a QB shootout with Drew Locke. I actually like Drew Locke. I was surprised he's six foot four. I didn't we need to talk. I'm tired of a short quarterback running around trying to like on his tippy toes trying to trying to find his wide receivers. I'm tired of that. I feel you. Yeah. No, that you, calf's probably pumped. He is. He's he he's, he's looks the same. Looks good. No, I mean, he's probably pumped that he doesn't have a quarterback right now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, so yeah, so so uh, yeah, football. What do you, like? Uh, I feel like it's just blowing up right now. Not football itself, but like, you, you see, T, or uh, not uh, Tyree Kill today. Uh-uh. Three team trade going to the Dolphins, and they extended him for three years, seventy five million, making him the highest wide receiver paid. Uh, uh, he, going uh, to the Dolphins. Going to the dude. Dolphins from from uh, from Kansas the Chiefs. City? Yeah, Chiefs. He's gone. He's going there. Uh, there was a the Jets got involved in it. It was a three team trade. I don't know what happened there, but he's on the team. They didn't get rid of uh, um, Walt, Waddle. Wad, so it's going to be Waddle and Tyreek. On two is going to be under throwing them, or it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how those Dolphins are going to are going to play. I like it. Yeah, OBJ. Might want to go back to the. He's talking about going back to the Browns now that they got Deshaun there and and Baker's out. Where yeah, what happened to Baker? I heard they uh, everybody just kind of turned on him. Huh? No one can find. Yeah, no one can find him. He was living at the stadium. Did you not see the commercials? They probably got tired of that. No I'm kidding. <laughs> and then you got uh, what else? Um, Bobby Wagner going to the Rams. It sounds like. Oh, is he? Yeah, the it, defense is stupid already. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Well. I know. Rebuild season over here in <laughs> upper left. <laughs> We're gonna be shit for another five years. Yeah, much. yeah, it's gonna be crazy. It is gonna be nuts. So right back to where we used to be when Dave Craig was here. Yeah. Well, I was gonna ask you Which this. He was a good quarterback. Dave Craig was great. Yeah. yeah. Just not very many wins for a few years there. No. Um, you know, the Bobby Wagner thing kinda hurt. Now I understand because He's getting later on in life, and he needs to go. He's the type of guy that's going to go get signed on in, to a championship team. Yeah, but dude, here's the thing. I mean, I get that, but he didn't want to go. They let him go. That's crazy to me. He that, yeah. he he was like Seahawks all through and through. Here's like the, he worked his own contract with them. He had a great relationship. Dude, he was still like one of the leading tacklers in the NFL last third, year. Third highest, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's not like he's washed up. No. 
who knows? Maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they're trying to clear some money here for something big, but Cap- I don't know. Kaepernick. Mayfield's probably at Carol's house right now, just freaking <laughs> sitting on the boat, smoking a stogie. He's probably working a deal right now. That's crazy. What? 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 Now, I asked the Garage Night guys this. I want to ask you this: What trade, or and I'm not 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 you though. You can't answer by yourself. Like, but what trade or release or anything um, broke your heart uh, growing up as a kid watching? You know, like oh, it was like when. Kemp got traded, or Griffey, or Peyton, or or was it? Were you were were you heavily wrapped up into all those teams, or was mine was probably like Bo, Bo Jackson when he got hurt and it was done. I was oh. like, oh, he was still in his prime, or when like that's a good, or when caveat. like Barry Sanders just hung him up randomly when he was like at the top of his game. Dude, he was so yeah, I love he Barry, was a freak, and same with like just like those heavy hitting Deion Sanders when he was just yeah done, you know so just like yeah not necessarily I didn't follow the trades or anything like that really but um those were the heartbreakers when I was a kid yeah and yeah. then when what about tv shows that got canceled do you remember those or is there anything off the top of your head that you're like I can't believe they canceled this tv show my freaking favorite tv show three's company <laughs> <laughs> he love that show. He used to love that show, Jack Tripper. Yeah, oh yeah. That was a good show. That was a good show. Silver Spoon. Uh St. Patty's Day we just had. We did. Did you cook anything special? Did you try mm-hmm. anything? I heard someone cored a cabbage and cook stuff on a Traeger and a cabbage. I mean, I heard of some wild I've things. I've done that before, but I didn't do anything crazy, no. No? Mm-hmm. No. You've cored a cabbage and cooked something in it, or yeah, sweet. You can do it on any barbecue. It's cool. What do you do? Talk, talk. So you take like a piece of foil, mm-hmm. like roll it up, and then roll it so it looks like a big onion ring almost, so it keeps it off the grill. And then you take your cabbage and flip it over, and you basically just cut the core out, almost like it'd almost be a cone shape inside of like where the core is, you know. So you cut the core out of the cabbage. Yeah. And then you fill it, you season the whole thing and then like fill it with like barbecue sauce, bacon, like whatever. And then you cook that whole deal, cook the whole thing. And then when it's done, you just chop it all up and that barbecue sauce and, or whatever you put in it goes all over. over. It's delicious, actually. Wow. Yeah. I just got hungry. That's weird. You look full. <laughs> I've lost. Hey. You do look good. I've lost a little weight. Lost some LBs. I, yeah. Cut out the, cut out the, uh, the, the needless, what do they call that? IPAs? Cut out some IPAs. I mean, I'll still have them, not as much. Uh, cut out bread. Kind of the stuff that, that I heard that are the things that you just kind of... You feel better? Not as sluggish? I feel definitely not as sluggish, yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's weird. It kind of almost like it makes you like, what if I was working out at the same time? Yeah. Like, I'd probably be not great, but at least I'd be a lot better. But then I'm just like, well, that would require... Baby steps. Baby steps. Yeah. I just started working out again. This week, what you do? What, oh, nice. Yeah. What is it? Uh, uh, just working out, bud. Well, just, I know. What, what's your? Uh, you know what? Let's. I'm sure people would want to hear that. What's like? What? What's working out, bud? Oh, just baby steps into it. Baby steps. So, into what it. is it? What's your like routine? Maybe Thirty minutes of cardio, uh, doing some walking, did some um, band work. Band oh yeah, put it between yeah. Instead of doing like weights, use bands. Did that. Yeah. Um, a little sore, but how's I mean, the shoulder? You know, summer's coming around. Yeah, it is coming around. This is the best. Quick. Are you, uh, you sh- shoulder feeling any? I know that uh, that's kind of a, a, a reoccurring. Good. Shoulders good. Hips bad. Hips, Hips bad. bad. So push ups are those in or out? I can do them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe you. I just didn't know if like if you try. Sometimes when people have sh- shoulder I- injuries, the band things work. The don't band trust. works good. You can pretty much do everything with the band. Nice. Yeah. Simulate a push up. Hit the incline. Even declined flies, all of it. Could I sit at my desk and just throw a band over me and just yeah, and yeah. it actually do do work, do work, son. I'm just asking. Yeah, just asking. you just gotta get creative, um, and and know what muscles you're trying to hit. Well, I don't. I know if you've never worked out, it's <laughs> tough. It's a little different. Yeah. Um, Homer Robertson wanted me to ask this like freaking months ago. Okay. Chicken gizzards. Mm. Do you like them? Have you cooked them? No. Would you want his recipe to try them? I've tried them. Um, not a fan because <laughs> I know what they are. It's 
sick. Yeah. To think about. But you deep fry them. So anything deep fried is good. Yeah. It's just to an extent, right? I mean, yeah, I'm not a fan. No, I don't want the recipe, but thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you thinking of me. That's so that's so sweet of you. That was very nice. I, you know, Homer, you, you a gizzard guy? I've never tried them. What about the uh, the turkey? No, dude. The uh, shit, what are they called? The buff, the freaking yeah, the nuts, yeah, the the bull nuts. What or are whatever. they called? Uh, Rocky oysters, Mountain oysters. oysters. You ever had those? I think I have. Oh boy, I think I have. I on a dare. I don't want to get too deep into that because yeah. I got a little bit of weak tummy right now thinking about it. But do you? Yeah, no good. You, are you are you fighting a little stomach bug? Right no, now? not at all. I was just thinking about you eating nuts. Oh yeah, or cow testicles. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. Bull ha- testicles. Have you ever tried these? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> What's up with you, though? Nothing. Nothing. We keep going on this. You can ask me. I'm going to Vegas next week, believe it or not. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a joke. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I never doubt you when you dude, go to I, Vegas. Dude, I count down Absolutely the days. Absolutely never doubt you. I count down the days, dude. It's so... I, I'm so excited. So tell me the same thing, same place, same same thing. Yeah. How, what, what, how many times is it this year thus far? So, this is like your fourth time this no, year? No, we went we went end of January, and now we're going end of March. So it was the, the one with January. When did go you with, go before January? Uh, went in... You, December? Uh, no. End of October? No, 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 no. It was, August. It was end of September. End of September. So this is the drought. But then before that was July and May and, and, and February. So... So you're about four times a year. About four times a year, yeah. Right. And I've already got my next one planned out. I'm going. I'm also going on a golfing trip in Arizona with uh, one of my old former managers and some district managers from my time at Safeway. I got invited this year, kind of randomly, and so I'm going down there. Never been to Arizona, so I'm excited to check that out. When are you going there? June, like right before my my daughter graduates, and I'm hosting the graduation party here. So I'm like, I gotta get my, I gotta get stuff. Dialed it'll be, in, it'll be like one twenty down there. So you'll be that'll be fun. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. So what they do, they say this is like they say this like, or he said this is what you expect this, and this is a freaking rough thing for me. He said uh, we golf in the morning every morning, and then it's pool time the rest of the day. Where we've rented out like this like mansion, cost me a freaking arm and a leg to be a part of that, and then uh, you're so in the like, pool. They're like. Man, we're like two guys short. <laughs> Invite Trav and tell him how much it is for two people. He won't even know. It's probably the truth. But the one thing is, is that you have to, um, you have to cook one night. And I don't know what I'm working with. And it, I, and he tells me, Trav, like, if it's a mansion, you're gonna have a gas grill outside. Go burgers, bro. Well, no, that's the thing. It's like, and they said like no burgers. No burgers. No burgers. Unless they want like gourmet stuff. Yeah, they're all like in their fifties and, and for you know fifties, and some of them probably in their sixties. Oh they're, boy, that sounds like a raider. Well, no, I mean it's not gonna. I mean these guys are all living it up there. You know, watch the NBA finals. We drink, and I don't think they're in. The, I don't know. It's between fifties and sixties for sure. But either way, I am like these guys like want. He's like, you know what I did last year? I did, I did crab clay or crab legs. You can't go wrong with crab legs. You can't f that up. You just boil it up, and everyone, you know. And he goes, it cost me about you know two hundred bucks, but. And I'm like, what? Can I just go DoorDash? So you can't do burgers. No. And I'm sure someone's already got ribs. I'm sure someone's already got something. So it's and I, and I was talking to my neighbor. He's just got a Traeger, and he's like, dude, you need to try this, try this, try this. Is go to Costco and just grab like this, this, and this, and just go with it. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure someone else is gonna. Has already thought. Nobody's of that. writing down or telling everybody what they're doing. Not yet. I, this is. I'm just. That's why you gotta hit the. You gotta hit the, hit the sticks and just be like, "Yo, I'm making, ribeyes." And how many guys are going? Eight. Okay. Well, I'm one of the eight, so seven plus me. Yeah. Ribeyes, bro. Just ribeyes it up and just say, hey, "Sorry," and here's some garlic mashed potatoes that go along with it. The nice heat. Yeah, you should call your brother and get his recipe for the mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, then it'll be a hit. I mean, ribeyes, eh. you hit a Costco down there, you're golden. Oh, 
Although meat's spendy these days. Dude, everything is spendy these days. I know. Freaking Trump. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of. Go ahead. I don't care at this point in my life. You don't care anymore? I don't really care. I mean, you speak for yourself. I don't. Oh, you're not going to weigh in on any of it. I mean, I'll weigh in. I'm not. I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not pro Biden. I kind of sit in the middle, believe it or not. How could you sit in the middle right now? Well, I just kind of sit in the middle. Just always? Always. Just I, like, hey, who cares? I see, I see the, but well, here's the thing. I see both sides. I see the, I, I see how it's the same logic, both sides. It's just flipped. There's no logic on this side right now. On your side? No, on the, your side. I don't have a side. Okay, on Biden's side. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah. You're just in the middle floating, so floating. it doesn't matter. River. I'm, 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 like, an, I'm like the, uh. The uh, politics, I'm just like the, what's that called? The lazy river at freaking Wild Waves. Just might get bumped a little bit to the left, might get bumped a little bit to the right, but just, just riding the lazy river, soaking up the sun. I can see that about Kids you, Kids splashing me in the face. I feel the effects like everyone else. COVID hit me in the face, but it's not real anymore. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes that's true. It just depends on what you believe at the moment. Joey. Well, you bought into it. You drank the Kool-Aid, and then you got COVID after you got the steak. Did you get COVID after ever? you got the poke? I never got it. I never. I'm still unvaccinated, and I'll I'll remain until I feel uh, I feel I need it. Here's the thing: people have asked me, and I, and I know no one cares, but I've had a few people ask me, say, "Hey, why don't you get it?" It's like I just it's the effects. It's the effects. I'll take my chances at this point. I know it didn't stop people from. Like passing on to others, so it's not like I'm endangering anyone. The only real person I'm endangering is myself. So I'm not, you know. So anyway, I'll take. And then they just CDC just said, "Hey, fight or Moderna and uh, what was the other one? Not John, Pfizer, but the Johnson, other one. Johnson. You got, you, or I think Johnson was a one poke. Yeah. Uh, uh, fi- the Moderna for sure, and and I think maybe Pfizer for the groups of like ages twenty to freaking forty. They're extending it four weeks so rather than getting it within the first four weeks it's like well get it the second poke in eight weeks that's the stuff that scares me you have it lowers the chances of myocarditis that's the stuff that scares me so that's why oh, it like, doesn't scare you that they didn't do any research on it and they just started stabbing people with people <laughs> people's hearts are exploding and freaking women can't get pregnant and okay good well i mean there's people that have gotten the poke that have gotten pregnant though like it's, I don't, I'm not saying all of them, but still, right. it's, it's still a risk. Like, what's the point? Right. Well, and that's where I was like, if, in my, in my opinion, if they want to do it, go for it. If you if that's what you feel, and then you run the risk. Just like they should be saying to me, if you don't want to get it, go for it. Don't get it. You're just running the risk. I'm not getting anybody else sick. You know. So See I that? I just brought up one little thing, and you ran with it. There you go. You feel? Do you feel better? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Like a, yeah. I feel like you kind of slid to my, you got bumped to my side of the. Lazy I did. River I'm on the time. lazy river on some of these things. Bump into the right. Bump into the left. What oh. do you, what, tell me how you bump to the left. Okay, bump to the left. I feel like people that there's some things if we're talking politics that are none of my business at all. So why do I need to decide other people's business in some things? So that's between them and God and the, their spouse and whoever. It's not why I'm not weighing in on these people who who's gonna buy a house. I'm not saying hey, you can't buy a house. You know, I don't care. I'm not. So why why do I have to get too involved in some of this stuff? So that's where I am more on the left. I would say. Um, okay. I didn't like that answer, but okay. I, I, I'm just saying it wasn't. It just didn't. You, that was very like vague. Still stuck in the middle. That's what I'm saying. I got bumped. Okay. Uh, I Tell me what you agree with Biden right now. I don't really agree with Biden on much. I don't, but so I would say I'm more like central conservative than I am like okay. middle, but I just also don't feel like it's like evangel. I mean, I'm a Christian, but I see fellow Christians that treat America as if it's the kingdom of God. And they have to fight for every friggin' right in the world or else it's Satan trying to take it over. And I'm like, I don't view America as – if if America is my final resting place, 
then I might as well not even believe in God. What about, talk about a horrible place. This is this is more hell than heaven. So right. yeah. So that's that's where I get I don't get all involved like on some of these people that I see that I you know, whatever. I get it. Go I for it. I do appreciate you getting a little involved right now though. Yeah. Well, you're serving up some volleyballs right now. <laughs> Three, two, one, ace. <laughs> Yeah, that does bother me though. That does bother me. There you go. There you go. See, you you do have a brain. Thank you. You're welcome. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Now you want to go back to the light and fluffy questions real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just yeah. I just wanted to rough it Did up you, a little bit. Did you? I like it. Did you want it? No, you said <laughs> you said plenty. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, okay. So back to the kitchen. Back to the hotel. Ba-da-da. Kitchen? Yeah, real quick qu- kitchen oh, question. about what you're going to cook? No, no, no. I'm going to ask you something. I'm going to think about that still. I want you to recommend it and, and teach me. Uh, kitchen appliance that you use every day can't be a microwave. What do you use every day? Just one kitchen appliance? One kitchen appliance. Some people, it could be a can opener. could be a coffee maker. could be like, what's your... What's stove your... top. Stove um, top. Stove top or oven. Or a grill. You said ramen? Or oven. Oh. Me just me just talking all this cooking. <laughs> all I do is cook top ramen. <laughs> no. I like to get the boil going. I made a good ramen uh salad the other night. Ramen salad Dynamite. is delicious. Dynamite with some uh you know, it's just the like a almost like a coleslaw mix, and mm-hmm. then you put the uh Two packets of the toast the uh, ramen noodles yeah. a little bit in the oven. Jamie makes one like that so, so good. good, dude. Cabbage in it a little bit too. Yeah, it's like the coleslaw mix. Yeah. So it's like cabbage, red, green, and carrots. And yes. Then toss it in there, and then you just do like the packets. You actually cook it. You actually kind of heat it up a little bit. Not the ramen, but the I think or no. What does she do? She cooks a little. I bit just of use it. rice wine vinegar, like olive oil, and then two packets of the seasoning. But I what I what you cook is like the ramen noodles to get them crispy. Yeah. Yeah, crunch. Give a little crunch. A little crunch. Feel me? I always feel you. Um roller coasters. I don't feel like you're a roller coaster guy. Or carnival games. You walking into a are you spending you getting the wrist the, the wristband to go hit all the rides, or are you going and just throwing darts and throwing? Where are we at? Are we at Disneyland or are we at Eden Claw Fairgrounds? Ooh, you know what? Give me both. Eat Claw Fairgrounds? Yeah. Give me give me which one. Or both and tell me what you do. <laughs> okay. Well, first off, the Eden Claw Fairgrounds, the uh, trailer is still connected to the roller coaster, so I'm <laughs> definitely not getting on that thing. <laughs> the semi's parked there. Still, uh, still, definitely not getting on the definitely not getting not. on the zipper at the old e- <laughs> at the old Eden Claw Fairgrounds. I don't think you'd fit. <laughs> and, and now if we're at I couldn't fit in the zipper when I was like in sixth grade. <laughs> I was like the kid in line, just the little fat kid. I'm gonna go on the zipper, and then the kid next to me is like, "Ah, oh, shit!" Like counting in front of me. Uh, well, going with the big guy, I guess. <laughs> they just get knocked around, <laughs> scrambled. Uh, and then if I'm at if I'm at Disneyland, I'm all over everything there. Mm. Now, are you a mosier at Disneyland, or are you like, no, let's get to this one and this one? Are you do you have a do you have a direct purpose? It depends. It, well, I haven't been since the. Pre-pandemic, yeah. So you used to have fast passes and stuff, so you'd rip. Mm. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm always on the go when I'm at Disneyland. Yeah, but I'll go on the rides for sure. Definitely a roller coaster guy there. Dumbo, <laughs> going Dumbo. Yeah, I'm always waiting in line like two hours for that. <laughs> <laughs> Love that one. <laughs> that and the carousel. I just keep going back and forth over yeah. and teacups. Yeah. Uh, hey, excuse me, you're in my way again. Hey, excuse, excuse me. Fast walking, fast walking around kids. Just Damn it, I wanted the unicorn. Sw- swim moving. <laughs> start the, you start crying, throwing a fit. What do you like winning at the uh, carnival games? Were you back in the day? I like the I like doing the darts and getting the little like Tupac little glass frame thing or, or oh, camp a little glass. Tupac mirror. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I've seen them. Did you ever get into that? Or no, that wasn't my thing. Were, were you the stuffed animal guy? I was no. Like as a kid, you're like, whoa, look at that stuffed animal. Then you get it home, and it's like, you like run and dive on it one time, and you got like popcorn everywhere, like the little beads, and like these are made amazingly. I'm so glad I spent eighty dollars on this. <laughs> oh, that's so 
not true. So what was it? What were you? What were you uh, trying to win? Anything? Oh, I don't know, dude. Like, uh, you know, the one that I like the best that I'm like lasered on is the uh, one where you sit down with a water gun and you gotta oh, shoot it right in the hole yes. and blow up the balloon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that that to me is just fun. Whether if I win, I don't care. Don't give me anything. I just want to. I just want to beat everyone just else. Win. Yeah, I just want to win. Yeah. Just want to win. When my kid, when like Capri and Charlie were little, um, Capri and I sat down and did it, and I won her like a stuffed animal. Right? Mm-hmm. This was at Disneyland, mm-hmm. and then, the, but there was nobody there. I was just, <laughs> I, I just did it for like I was the only. One. She did it with me or whatever. Right, right. Know? And of course, I was just lasered in. Well, then this like, like probably sixth grade kid sits next to me, but I needed to win one for Charlie, and I'm like. Dude, I've never been more like laser focused <laughs> with my eye, hand, eye, my hand, I was dead on. And it was a race and it just went, and I looked at him and I was like, yeah, you gave him a little, I'll take the aerial. I didn't know if you like, I'll take the aerial. <laughs> I don't know if you like, at one good. point he was like beating you. So you kind of gave him a little elbow, just, just a little bit, just knock his aim off. Not too hard. Mm-mm. He was down like two from me. I was looking at him like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're just, just dialed in. You're no, just a no look, just a no look squirt gun. Like, boom. <laughs> no, but that was a true story. I had to win Charlie one. Did you? Took it right out of the poor little kid's hand. And then dropped my gun like it was hot. <laughs> All right. So here's my last question, and we'll wrap this one up. And uh, and think of some, think of a shout out or. We're shout already out. there. Yeah, we're already there. We're, we're already getting there. We're wrapping it up. Last last little bit. Okay. Whoa. Home stretch. You ready? Okay. So you use a lot of the same um, terms. I, is the terms the right word? You use a lot of the same um, vocabulary. I guess that's a better that's a better uh, word. In text messages to people. Say that again? I do? Yeah. You use uh, vocabulary, uh, terms, like okay. nicknames and stuff. I do. Yeah. When I text you. Text me or others, I'm guessing. Okay. Okay. Like what? Give me an example. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, okay. What, what do you use more in a day? Ass hat, <laughs> sir, my boy. Sir. You use sir a lot more. Yeah, and, like, and that's because I'll, of probably work you're having to. I'll hey. be texting. I'll text or uh, like got, have good relationships with like continual customers, you know. And I'll just be like, "Yep, we'll be there tomorrow, good sir," or you know, something like that. Yeah. Usually. Ask how I only use on you. <laughs> I was gonna say because it, it comes up quite a bit. It's only with you. It's only with you. Seriously, I pulled in. I pulled in. I pulled in, and I was in the driveway, and he's like, "I'm just here waiting." I'm like, "I'm here, ass hat." Yeah. Yeah, that's and that's what got me thinking. I'm like, you know, he calls me, see you later today, sir, or something like that, good sir, or my or or how's my boy doing? You know, like talking about whoever we're talking about. Um, and then that but then ass hat quite a bit. Quite Toward, a bit. Towards you. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else you is this a term of endearment? Like you don't call anyone else ass hat, it's just me? Pretty much. Oh man, thanks, dude. That actually kind of feels good. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Uh, yeah, I've got like my own little nickname here. You got yeah. an ass hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, I'm gonna do my shout outs and let me pull those up. Did you do you have any shout outs that you wanna shout anyone out at all? Maybe give this time to talk about how great you how much you loved Russell, how much you're gonna miss him, how he changed your life. Or no? No? Uh, go Cougs. Go Cougs. Uh, sad not to see him in the in the in the bracket this year. Cougs. Yeah, they're in the NIT, bro. They're rolling. What? They're in the NIT bracket. I know, but the, but they're usually in the other bracket every once in a while. Sorry, bracket's a bracket, bro. Bracket's a bracket. Are they still? Oh, are they still in the NIT? Yeah, they just won. Wow. I don't know anything about it, so I'm just gonna kind of pretend that I that I know what you know. Um. And for me, obviously, I'm going to shout out the uh, friggin' Patreons. Patreons galore. Um, I got, I hit some button right now while I'm pulling them all up. I, it's so much right now. I got two new ones. We've already talked about that with one of them being uh, Russell. We also got uh, Sasha as well. Is Shout out to her. 
Got to go check her out. She's she's at like some brewery. She owns like like Emerald Taps, or I should probably look that up at some point. And now I gotta I gotta verify my friggin' app. See, this is the thing, you know, guys. It's just so annoying sometimes where you have to check this stuff out. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. Thank you to the Patreons: Kellen Hall, Eric Madrid, Holly Graff, Amanda Keating. I've got nineteen now. It's crazy. Adam Kenny Art, Seth Loop, Cassie Spencer, Ira Potter, Shekinah Sarver, Jared Skelly, Homer the Gizzard Robertson, Big V Veronica Lara, Ben Illman, Jamie Roberts, The Dashing Jamie Kenny, Apollo Dolo, I think, Jackson Sidek, and of course I said uh, Sasha and Russell. And then let's just search, let's just search Sasha real quick. Because she, where does she work? Edison City. Not Emerald City, you idiot. Edison City Ale House. Uh, that is, where is that located? Let's look this up. Let's look this up right now. I'm, I'm, I'm on the page. Shout, it's a free shout out. It's a free shout out. Go, go find them on Facebook. Okay, Tacoma, Washington. 5602 South Lawrence Street, Tacoma, Washington. Go check out Edison City Ale House. And uh, tell me how it goes. I should probably go out there and drop off her sweatshirt at some point in my life. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great week. Joey. Thanks for having me, Trev. And go. And go Cougs. Holler with Hollenbeck. Hollenbeck. Joey Hollenbeck.